Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce Theme Development. In this episode, I'm going to give you a demo of the Stripe checkout, which we're going to build in the upcoming videos. So what I've done is I've created a account on Stripe and I'm using this test account for the demonstration purposes. So I have some API key, secret key, which I have gone ahead and added that in my .env file. And then I've also created a webhook uh, that basically listens to any event that I have attached to it. In this case, I have attached an event called checkout.session.completed and it's gonna to listen to it and whenever the payment has been made, it's going to call my endpoint that I've created and it's going to let this endpoint know that the payment is successful. And then at that point, I'll be able to update the order. All right. So let me show you the flow quickly. We would also like to test our webhook, which is going to call this endpoint. Now, the thing is that this endpoint is live, but we are currently testing locally on the localhost 3000, right? So in order for us to test it locally, uh, what we can do is we can use Stripe CLI. Uh, I'm, a, I'm going to be demonstrating all of that in the next video, how to install and set up Stripe CLI. Basically, you need to install the Stripe CLI and then do Stripe login. Uh, and then once you have logged into that through the terminal in the browser, then you can go ahead and listen to this particular endpoint. So if you take a look at pages, API, and then Stripe webhook, so this is my endpoint, API slash Stripe webhook, but it's on the localhost 3000. So what I'm doing is I'm forwarding it to, uh, so any request that comes to that webhook, which I've created, it is going to go ahead and forward it to localhost 3000, API slash Stripe webhook. So let's listen to that. I'm going to hit enter and you can see it's getting ready. And then it's actually uh, listening to that and I, you also need to add this webhook secret into .env file. I've already done that but I'm going to share that with you in the upcoming videos in detail. This is just for demo purposes. So currently it's listening to it um, and my local development server is already running which is great. So let's start fresh. I'm going to add a couple of products. So let's add this one, this one, and let's add a couple of these as well. And then I'm going to click on the bag, proceed to checkout. And then I've already filled in all of the details. I won't be entering them again. And then you will select Stripe. It's already listening to any of the events that are going to be fired. And then it's going to forward it to the localhost 3000 API Stripe webhook, which means any of the request uh, that comes to uh, this webhook is going to be forwarded here and it's already listening. So let's go ahead and hit place order. So once you click on the place order, a session, a Stripe session will be created and it's going to re redirect uh, itself to the Stripe checkout. So now you can see that it has redirected us to the Stripe checkout. These are all the products that we have added uh, you've got all of the images, the quantity, the price, all of that, right? And then what has happened at this point that this particular event is already fired. You can see payment intent is created. We will discuss in detail what this is in the upcoming videos. However, it is consistently listening to this event and at this endpoint. And you can see that there's a 200 status code to this webhook endpoint. And then if you check on to the orders, you'll see that 53 seconds ago, this order has been created and that is for $93 and this is for $93 as well. Just verify uh, all of the products. You can see it's showing, it's showing pending payment because we haven't made the payment uh, just yet. And you can see it's saying Next over here because that's the name of the business that we have set up into our Stripe dashboard. And also, uh, these are the same products here that we have ordered, $93, perfume, gift set, and pants, which is great. Okay, 
Now I'm going to fill in the test details for the card. Just enter any of the valid dates. Name on the card. And then I'm going to click on pay. All right. So currently it's processing. Take a look what's happening here. You can see that the request has come in. Uh, payment intent succeeded. And you can see that it's, it's processing. So all of these events are being fired. It's successful now. And you can see that it says thank you for placing the order. Let's take a look. So customer created, payment intent succeeded, chart succeeded, and checkout session completed. The moment this event is fired, because we have said that, please listen to this event when we created the webhook, uh, it's going to go ahead and perform all the necessary actions on the endpoint that we have created, which is the API Stripe webhook. And this is where we are updating the order status to processing because the payment has been taken. So if we go back and check, you can see that now the order status has changed to processing, right? It's the same order. And that has been done through that webhook, which is consistently listening to that event that's being fired. Okay. And now if you go back and check under the payments tab in the Stripe dashboard, you can see that $93 has been succeeded. And this is the same products that we ordered, same price, images are there. And um, card details, these are all of the event data, custom email, metadata, order number, so it's two to three, six. Order number 236, brilliant, amazing. Awesome, so I hope you enjoyed this demo. And as you can see, you can actually test the Stripe webhook locally. Um, and our order is working, so it's redirected to thank you page. You've got the session ID, order ID on top, and it's fetching the order details and showing it to the user that the order has been placed, all right? Awesome. So. I'm sure you're pretty excited about the upcoming videos where we're going to learn step by step how to create this entire functionality of Stripe Checkout and integrate it to our React WooCommerce theme with WordPress and with Stripe. All right then. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And uh, please do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Tech, And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. and do start my repository to support my work like all the beautiful 408 people have and please follow me on github as well all right thank you very much then take care bye bye